teaching history in schools is going to be controlled by the Kremlin. And the main tendency is politicization of education. They understand the, uh, the importance of uh, controlling the narrative and uh, indoctrinating uh, these, um, these children at such a young age. If we consider this book from the historical point of view, then we can find their fakes, propaganda, unjustified materials. Hello and welcome to Ukraine in Flames a special project by Ukraine Media Center, an NGO Euro-Atlantic course. And I'm your host, Miroslava Yarenkiv. The Russian Federation has released a new history textbook for high school students with a section on Russia's war against Ukraine, which repeats the claims of Russian state official propaganda. The textbook contains a completely rewritten history from 1970s to 2000s, a reduced general history section, and expanded sections on Asia, Africa, and Latin America. It is interesting that at some point this amazing textbook stops talking about Russian history altogether. Its authors devote almost all of their attention to the history of another country, Ukraine. In today's episode, we're going to talk about distorted education, altered history, and how Russia indoctrinates youth through school curriculum. If you want to learn more about the subject, please continue watching this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss our videos in the future. The 17 paragraphs in the section on Russia's war in Ukraine include Russian propaganda that claims the United States is the main beneficiary of the war and refers to the occupied territories of Ukraine as new regions of Russia. Among the last sections of the textbook of Russian history are sections called Ukrainian Neo-Nazism, Coup in Ukraine in 2014, Return of Crimea, Fate of Donbass, Minsk Agreements, Special Military Operation, and Ukraine is a Neo-Nazi State. More on the distorted history in the last chapters, please welcome senior hybrid warfare analytical group analyst and project manager at the New Geopolitics Research Network, Volodymyr Solovyan. Till 2023, we had, uh, the Russian Federation had a few uh, versions of the uh, textbook for the schools and why this one is new because they updated the program and uh, uh, from the 7th as of the 7th of uh, august 2023 they uh, presented the new uh, book uh, um, written by Tonkonova and Medinsky. Before that, we had a separate textbook for these fields, but nowadays we can see that they are um, they are combining a few a few textbooks in in one, and therefore we can consider we can say that uh, teaching history in schools is going to be controlled by the Kremlin. And the main tendency is politicization of education, politicization of uh, teaching the history and the and appearance of the propaganda narratives in the history school program. And just for your general understanding of the context, so the context of the history of uh, the context of the textbook on history of Ukraine, Oh, I have. Uh, I decided to show you a few paragraphs uh, from this new book, uh, from this um, new textbook, and you can see that all of them, they were kind of copied. Uh, all of them, they duplicate the speeches of Putin. And when you're reading this textbook, it seems to be that, to it seems to be written by the authors of the speeches of the president of the Russian Federation. And most of these topics are becoming the basis for the pseudo-historical, quasi-historical speeches of the, uh, Vladimir Putin. And uh, uh, there is a separate topic, uh, the, uh, Russia is a country of heroes, and it shows some certain uh, change uh, in the narrative of uh, the coverage of the war in Ukraine. and. That is actually the main new thing, why the international media reacted that much uh, in this case. Because the Kremlin tried to explain the children his main objective 
the reason why he started the war in Ukraine. And this and this uh, subtopic uh, dedicated to the heroes means that uh, uh, they are trying to make the heroes of of the deceased uh, people in soldiers in Ukraine and in this way they are trying to make them heroes and to and to make children think less of the problems the problems uh, of the general reason of the war and just to change the focus and shift the focus to some separate episodes of the war which are not related to the general framework of the reasons. And the main objective of the war. So they are trying to focus uh, their attention on some aspects of the war and uh, the Russian ideologists, uh, they are trying to recruit the new people to the army, to the Russian army, by trying to make heroes, to create heroes out of the soldiers who participated in the war in Ukraine. And of course, this textbook is not only ideological. The rewriting of history was completed in just five months. Textbook is already planned to be introduced from September 1st this year. One of the authors is Vladimir Medinsky, an assistant to President Putin. He emphasized that this is the first textbook of its kind after the collapse of the USSR and appeared to boast that the book rewrote past history. Hvak analyst Matt Wickham will elaborate on the persona of propagandist Medinsky and his relationship with Putin. What I want to start off with is uh, a little... Um, uh, quote from George Orwell as well, uh, 1984, the most effective way to destroy people is to deny and obliterate uh, their understanding of history. Why is it an important quote and why is Russian propaganda often related to and compared to um, George Orwell's 1984 novel? Well, firstly, obviously, you've got state-controlled uh, media, you've got manipulation of language, to uh, distort meanings and downplay events and alterations of historical records to fit changing narratives and to serve the government's agenda. This coincides exactly with what this uh, new um, textbook is about. Uh, we see this over and over throughout the whole textbook, especially towards the end when they start talking about the so-called uh, special uh, military operation and the events just before. Um, so who are the authors? So Volodymyr uh, gave a little in introduction of uh, Volodymyr Medinsky, um, an influential figure in Russia and also known for his provocative comments and distortion of history in the past. In 2016, he was, uh, he told how the Russian people had a extra chromosome. So you can understand what kind of person we're dealing with when, um, when we're trying to analyze this, uh, this textbook. And obviously one of the best uh, individuals, candidates for um, choosing a distortion of history. Uh, in a recent interview, Medinsky was speaking about the um, how people related to the uh, to the textbook so far. Um, many even liberals have said that it's a good textbook up until the point where uh, we start talking about Putin, up until uh, Putin's reign, uh, where they say that we need to um, basically set a light uh, of this part of the book. He said uh, that is um, that kind of comment is one of the best comments that any author of any book of historical um, textbooks can receive, which is. Uh, extremely uh, interesting. Um, in contrast to the past textbooks, so in contrast to uh, the uh, Stalin's era of 1952 textbook and um, and we've got in 1980 Brezhnev's era, it becomes evident that those textbooks were a lot less politicized than this, te uh, this textbook today that we're the subject of matter. Um, and that points towards an intensified effort at desperate me measures from the Russian government and Russian propagandists and a failing, um, a failing instrument of propaganda which worked so well in the past. Interestingly, the Russian propagandists are also calling on parents uh, of the school children to read the textbook as well. Um, 
with uh, the textbook being discounted by 20% to usual rates, which uh, they go for, obviously, therefore, being able to uh, cover a wider um, audience. And uh, considering the uh, textbook is for the um, grade 11, so I'm assuming around uh, the 16-year-old uh, pupils, it means that their parents would be presumably uh, part of the generation of the uh, Soviet Union and still has these uh, Soviet um, Union educa education and they are rather susceptible targets for Russian propaganda. Um, Russian propagandist uh, Amin Gasparan points out that the significance of the textbook is that uh, what is taught at uh, schools is one of the most important times where the children uh, and their mind and ability to critical think um, is formulating. And so they understand the, uh, the importance of uh, controlling the narrative and uh, indoctrinating uh, these, um, these children at such a young age. The invasion of Ukraine, which the Kremlin calls a special military operation, has increasingly been presented to young Russians as part of Moscow's historical mission. Expert at the Ukrainian Center for Security and Cooperation, Alina Ponepalak, will explain why this narrative is very dangerous and threatening for Ukraine and other neighboring countries with Russia. First of all, the book is always analyzed by the cover. and. If I can uh, show the cover of this uh, textbook, in this case, we can see that uh, how it is represented, how this book is represented. And the, thing, the interesting thing about it is at the beginning of the history for the 11th uh, grade, they start not from the 20th century, as it is done in Ukraine and Ukrainian textbooks and also the European textbooks so for the for the 11th grade, we start to study more detailed history of the 20th century, but since 1945, and that is quite, it tells us a lot, because if we analyze the text of this book without even discussing the authors of these books and those who are representing this book, in this case, we can see that we have the person, uh, Sergei Pavlovich Karpov, uh, the honorable member of the Academy of uh, Science of the Russian Federation, and his uh, professional topic, and he uh, teaches in the Moscow uh, State uh, University. Uh, he is teaching uh, 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 Byzantine studies, and the person who is not professional on this topic. He was, he did uh, the review of the of these topics. And if we take, for example, as example, Medinsky. Medinsky is a propagandist of the Russian Federation, who is a founder of the ideology of Russism. And we can see that as a red line through all this book, and we can see this ideology of Russism in, in every text and uh, once again, I would like to repeat that uh, the, Timothy, the Timothy Snyder, they have uh, defined this ideology and they have shown on their own, in their own researches that this ideology is very similar with the uh, totalitarian, rich, totalitarian ideologies uh, such as Nazism. And we can put theoretical and practical equal sign uh, here and Medinsky is a founder of this ideological system and therefore his surname, his last name is in the first line of the authors. But if we, if we move forward and uh, if we consider this book from the historical point of view, then we can find their fakes, propaganda, unjustified materials which do not have any kind of uh, historical justification or background, as a, and as my colleagues have already mentioned, that is an oral system. The system, which you can obviously see in this book, in this textbook, and why it is so, what it, it is such a threat for Ukraine. The thing is that at the moment, the new generation is raised in the Russian Federation. 
the generation which is brought in this atmosphere, in the atmosphere of the general militarization, because through all this book we can see the call We can see that the Russians were always fighting for their territories. Uh, they were um, always fighting for their territories. And their territories are the Baltic countries, uh, that are the countries which uh, the Middle East countries. So the former Soviet Union countries. And they are trying to represent them as uh, the the original Russian lens, and that is the chauvinism of the Russian Federation, that is their chauvinist system and uh, universe. You've been watching a special project by Ukraine Media Center, a Euro-Atlantic course dedicated to the Russian-Ukrainian war, Ukraine in Flames. In the description under this video, you can find information on how you can help Ukraine fight Russian aggression. If you find our work useful, please like and share this video. Slava Ukraini!